We've all heard the terms cryptocurrency and Bitcoin for a while now, but there's a new term trending on social media that's catching everyone's attention. The Pi Bitcoin Network. The Pi Bitcoin Network describes itself as the first and only digital currency that you can mine on your phone. This suggests that if the Pi cryptocurrency becomes popular in the coming years, a large number of people will be willing to become Bitcoin miners. As always, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell down below to be notified whenever we upload new videos like this. What is the value of the Pi Network as of now? The value of Pi hasn't been confirmed, despite the fact that many users have claimed different estimates, and we haven't heard a politician say anything about it. Many experts believe the app is simply a scam and will reveal in time, but we'll have to wait a while to find out if that is true. Initial success The Pi Network's Facebook page announced the app's initial success on February 19. According to the news, the app has successfully reached over 13 million users worldwide. Pi Network claims to be a digital mining app that does far more than owning a Bitcoin. We don't have the opportunity to own Bitcoin, so let's switch to mining Pi, said Duke Dan, a Facebook user in Ho Chi Minh City. After a couple of years, if the project succeeds, each Pi could be worth dozens of dollars, he added. In Ho Chi Minh City, a Pi user is also known as a pioneer. What exactly is the Pi Network? The Pi Network is a mobile app created by Stanford University PhDs. While many experts believe it is a scam, there is still some reason to wonder why a scam could attract so many users from all over the world. Pi Network is a controversial platform that interests me. They claim to be a phone powered cryptocurrency network with over 10 million users. One of the top suggested results when searching for Pi Network is Pi Network Scam, and one of the most common questions people have is, is the Pi Network legit? This has at the very least made me suspicious, which is often the case even when Stanford PhDs are on board. I also don't like how their network has ads, but that's a different story. The premise of what they wanted to create has piqued my interest to some extent, it's not so much the idea of mining on low power infrastructure or phones that has piqued my interest. It's the idea of what you'll do if one of these phones appears. Right now, Pi is requiring the development of a developer platform, which includes a sandbox setup. This is often where I feel things could get interesting. The Pi network price has been scheduled to be announced. Click on the subscribe button to get notified and follow on our next video.